Hi, family. Ghetto News Report. I'm to ask you Mary Lee. Today is February 15th. Moon Monday in my city of Chicago. It's early as fuck. It's about 1.04 a.m. I'm up like crackheads trying to get one more and shit. For real. But it's getting harder and harder for their ass too and shit. Thank God. Maybe all this bullshit will be eliminated before it's over with. All right. Now, check this out. This going out to the originals, real motherfucking toe. You understand what I'm saying? All they do is use us up. And then, you know, they make transgenders and stuff with our money. You understand what I'm saying? Or whatever the case may be. I was looking at this, um, um, what you call, video about these two so-called guys, teenagers or whatever, trying to transgender into, you know, track, you know, sports, the, the sports track, you know, running and stuff. And they want, you know, they was running with the girls and stuff. And, you know, guess who came in first and second? Yeah. The transgender teenagers or whatever and stuff. Now you can clearly see that they're guys or whatever, you know, that's why they didn't want me to become the, you know, girl that I am because they want this face to make it represent they calls or whatever and stuff. They thought I was going to be like the young MA or whatever and stuff. Like back in the day for their ass and shit. They was trying to groom me for that. And I was wondering why, you know, them sissies kept coming around me and, you know, trying to finesse me and all kind of goofy shit. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I'm very, you know, cautious but I'm kind of slow, but kind of fast at the same time. But once I get it, you know, it is what it is. And motherfucking goddamn it, uh, AA, I am tradition eight. You understand what I'm saying? For those of y'all who know about Alcoholics Anonymous, if not, figure it out. Yeah, so the guys, see, they start off, you know, in the guys' locker room, you know, in high school, and they put holes in the wall. And they peep in and they want to see what the girls is doing and stuff, right? Now, they on the team with the girls and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And they really trying to push transgenders in ladies' sports and on basketball. They study pushing their ass, you know, our way and stuff. But me, a real girl, lady born this way, can't even go to the fucking bathroom most times without motherfuckers, goddammit, getting on my nerves and shit, guys and stuff. Imagine that. You understand what I'm saying? They don't want me to be a girl, but they could be a girl. You understand what I'm saying? You see where this is going? So, you know, I keep telling Young and May, man, they just using you. You understand what I'm saying? They was trying to do me, but they couldn't, goddamn it, get me the way they wanted and stuff. They couldn't finesse me with the money and all that and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? And they needed me because I'm the originator of rap to come up and, you know, get everybody else to come up or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So they can generate that money. But now that they got the money, they don't need me, you, or none of these other motherfuckers. If you are an original, they are coming after you. That's the honest to God's truth and shit. I don't know what it is with this dick shit. You understand what I'm saying? But it is what it is. They going to they gonna finesse you out of all your money before it's over with, young and May. I'm telling you. This, you got them around you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, you know. It's like when you was doing that video and shit, um, and you got to the part like the paid in full or whatever and stuff, and you know, you was like, bet money that I make this basket, and the guy was like, and I believe in you, Curry. He didn't say young and made, you understand, because he don't believe in young and made and stuff. You know, they don't like girls and stuff. They just use us to get the money or to get other girls to, you know, you know, Beat up the ones that might be in a way or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You need to take shit for face value or whatever. Real fucking talk because don't say I ain't warning you. They got 10 and 11 year olds out there right now that they grooming and know the game better than older motherfuckers and shit. They don't, you know, you got to remember when you was younger and stuff. For real. If everybody go back to when they was younger and remember how they use you. It's the same shit they doing to these young motherfuckers to eliminate the older ones. It's that Willie Lynch shit. You understand what I'm saying? Young against the old. 
light skin, dense, dark skin. We need to be on some Thelma and Louise shit. If I was you, I would get up with a motherfucker for real, for real. Because, you know, you know I know. You understand what I'm saying? I flipped the Bible to Psalms 103, and they talked about diseases and things of that nature or whatever and stuff. And let me see if I can read that part or whatever. And I had spoke about, you know, the shit before I flipped it. So not only am I a prophet or a psychic or a clairvoyant or, you know, whatever you want to call me and stuff, but, uh, yeah, the shit is weird. You understand what I'm saying? Now, you know, I know you don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. It's the truth, man. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking tote. And if somebody had been as outspoken to me about what I know for sure, man, I wouldn't be going through the hell I'm going through for real. Real motherfucking tote. You understand what I'm saying? I was around motherfuckers who did not fucking give a fuck about me. Just like now. You understand what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck about your ass either. I keep trying to tell you. But, you know, for some reason, I guess they want you to think that, uh, you know, I'm I'm a hater and shit. Less is more. Believe me. Biggie said more money, more problems. So, yeah, the transgenders. All right, this is what it say. Psalms chapter 1. I mean, my fault. Psalms chapter 103. It says, praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being praise his holy name praise the lord my soul and forget not all his benefits see it's my motherfucking benefits and shit you understand that they getting it says who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases see see they got them cures and shit but they only want to give it to the ones who gonna kiss ass and you know kill steal and destroy or whatever for some reason and stuff and i had I, I was lucky with all the shit that motherfuckers was doing to me and stuff until 2016 because they wanted to push Young M.A. out there and all that goofy shit or whatever, and they held me down on the psych ward. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk. But, you know, because they still needed me, they was curing me, you know, before 2016. Now, whatever they did to me in 2016, I've been dealing with for over... um almost five years now. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking tote. And they got the cures and shit. Now, whatever the fuck this coronavirus bullshit going on and shit, I'm not fucking goddamn it signing up for that. I, I feel just like this. If y'all had the fucking balls to hold me down or, you know, make me take that fucking shot for six months or whatever you did to me in 2016... You better fucking kick in this dough and cure me. That's what you better do and shit for real. Because if I die, we all die. That's the honest guy's truth and shit. Let's see what else is happening. I mean, because I, I can't make this shit the fuck up. Yeah, it says, Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with the love and compassion? Who satisfies your desire with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles, the Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. So this ain't got no fucking goddamn color on it. It says he made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. So... Who out there is harboring resentments? Because in AA, they said resentments is the number one offender. So, you know, I forgave what people had done to me prior to 2008. But because it keep coming to me over and over and over and it get worse and worse and worse because these motherfuckers just trying to control a nigga and shit. You know, that's why my higher power keep giving me the win when I be flipping these goddamn motherfucking scriptures and shit you understand what i'm saying to show you new motherfuckers that you know y'all better slow the fuck down because hell is for real it says hold on uh, get my shit together my glasses this is how they got me i can barely fucking see now it says 
He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. See, they talk about fear. See, in AA, they say, face everything and recover. That's what the acronym of fear is, or fear everything and run. I don't, I don't fear nothing and shit, so I got to fear you in order to fucking goddamn get the cure and shit that you gave me. It says, as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. See, they keep saying fear. It says, for he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it and it is gone. And it places, remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear. See, that's three times they use fear. And his righteousness with their children's children. With those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you, his angels. You mighty ones who do this or do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you, his servants, who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. All right, so then he used the word fear three times. So now they want to scare you to death and shit. If you don't do this, you know I'm going to get you. You know God is watching and all that. Okay, my higher power watches me. You don't see me on my knees getting these scriptures and stuff. You don't see my higher power putting fear, you know. That's like they used to say, your arms are too short to box with God. Now, imagine a little baby going through hell and shit, and they trying to fight, and they arms too short to box with the predator, pedophile, person or whatever, killer. You understand what I'm saying? Imagine that. That's how these motherfuckers want us to be and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I believe in a higher power, but my higher power don't keep scoring shit. These motherfuckers, guys, they keep scoring. If you don't fucking do what they say, then, you know, it's not your fault. It's just the way you would talk. You understand what I'm saying? Making my presence known, holding my own, you know, talking to my homies on this fucking goddamn cell phone or whatever the fuck it is. Either way it goes. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all need to change y'all way of thinking and shit because a lot of y'all been brought up in them Catholic church. That's why they didn't have me go to school in Bible class and all that for real, for real. Not for real. You understand? Because they, they knew I was going to be questioning their ass like Malcolm X and shit or Denzel Washington in the movie Malcolm X. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking tall. And they don't want to challenge and shit. They don't like the competition. But if they can get somebody that's naive and, you know, whatever then they'll brainwash you and then, you know, use you up and get another one and stuff. That's what they do. They're just a revolving door and stuff. So, you know, young and me, I'm trying to tell you, they don't give a fuck. I was watching one motherfucking goddamn video. She wanted her shoes done a certain way. And the white guy, I could tell that she didn't like the motherfucking shit, but she played it off like she did, I guess, you know, paid them or whatever and stuff. But I would have been like, man, that's not what I want. She wanted something that stood out and shit. You understand what I'm saying? That shit did not stand out and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And you got to nip that shit in the bud because if they could just take advantage of you, they will and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Get with your girl. Call me for real because it's a transgender out there right now. I try to take a video that looks just like you and shit. For real. Real fucking talk. All they do is use us up, take our money, and build their motherfucking kingdom and shit. Call me. 1708-574-8117. It's not a game out here. You understand what I'm saying? The streets don't love you. That's what you said, goddammit, in one of your fucking songs and shit. And it's true. And you're going to find out. You done got too old. They don't need you no more. 
They done pretty much did what they had to do, and that's get the money, property, and prestige and shit. We could have all been billionaires, so it ain't got shit to do with money. It's about control. And with that is, we got to lose the poly man. Daddy's telling me Peace!